Hello OpenMaze experimenters, my name is Kyle Osbury Neely, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install all the required software for the OpenMaze toolbox. And so we're going to get started by opening a web browser and navigating to the OpenMaze GitHub, which is at github.com slash Duncan lab slash open maze. And once you're at the open maze GitHub page, um, if you scroll down, you're going to see the readme, which is going to essentially go through exactly what I'm going to go through in this tutorial. So uh, before you get started, you're going to want to check that your computer meets the minimum requirements, which you can check out at the unity page found here. It's also important to note that OpenMaze has been extensively tested on Mac and Windows machines. However, the project should still behave normally on uh, most Linux machines as well. So in order to get started, we're first going to download and install the Unity Hub. And you can do that just by clicking on the link here. And you're just going to want to the box here and then you can download the Unity Hub. Okay, perfect. We can install this. Okay, and now that we have the Unity Hub, we're going to go back to the GitHub page. And we'll download the OpenMaze software. So you can download the OpenMaze software one of two ways. You can download it uh, from our release section, which is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. But you can also clone or download the master branch from the repository. The main advantage to downloading the master branch is that uh, you can have OpenMaze open in GitHub and if you make any changes, you can then submit pull requests, uh, which would allow us to review your changes or added functionality, but we'll go into that in more detail in another tutorial video. For right now, you can just go to the release section of the GitHub page and what you'll see here is the most recent version of the OpenMaze software. So, for our purposes here, we're going to download OpenMaze version 1. I'm just going to do that by clicking on it and then downloading the source code. Okay, once we have that, we can extract that. And I'm just going to put this on my desktop so it's easy to find. Okay, perfect. So now we'll go back to the desktop and what we'll find on the desktop is we now have the Unity Hub and we have our OpenMaze version one. So let's go back to the Unity Hub app and what we're going to do is go to the projects window. Now what you'll notice is that I already have a Unity profile set up, so I'm already logged into Unity here. But if you're new to Unity, you'll have to set up a new profile. Um, and you can just do that through instructions that can be found on the Unity website. There's no need to use any paid version of Unity for OpenMaze, so you can choose the personal or the student plan when signing up. You'll also have to add a license, which you can find instructions for on the Unity website as well. And you'll notice that we don't have any projects here, so we'll have to add our OpenMaze project. So we're just gonna go up to Add, and navigate to the OpenMaze folder that we just downloaded, and just select the entire folder. And what you'll notice is once it's loaded, you'll see this little yellow triangle here. And uh, what that's telling you is that you don't have the appropriate Unity version installed on your computer to run the OpenMaze software. So to fix that, we're just gonna click on the little yellow triangle and click the install prompt at the bottom. 
And what you're probably going to want to do is you're going to want to add build support for whatever platform you'd like to build your experiment for. So uh, what you should note is that uh, even though you're coding an experiment on a Windows machine, you'll still be able to export it uh, to a Mac or uh, other operating systems. So right now I'm just going to add both the Mac build support and the Windows build support. And I'm going to click install. And you should note that this installation process does take a very long time, so just be patient with it. But while we're waiting for that to install, we're going to download the last piece of software that we need for OpenMaze, which is a text editor. So we'll just navigate back to the OpenMaze GitHub page. Now, we recommend uh, using the Sublime Text Editor. It's a very uh, light text editor. It works perfectly for the purposes of editing OpenMaze configuration files. Um, but you can use any text editor that you're comfortable with that supports .json files. So we'll go ahead and navigate to Sublime. And I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to download the Windows version. Okay, perfect. So now we have all three pieces of software downloaded and we just have to wait for our Unity install. You're also gonna to wanna to note that if you don't already have Visual Studio installed on your computer, that Unity will automatically install that on your computer. Okay, so now uh, that we have the proper Unity version, what we can do is we can navigate back to the Projects tab and we'll see that the little yellow triangle no longer is there and we have the proper Unity version beside our OpenMaze project. Great, now we can open our project in Unity. So we're just going to click on the project to open that. Okay, perfect. Now we have our OpenMaze project open in the Unity editor. And we're just going to uh, double check that everything is working by running a simple uh, open maze experiment. Uh, but before we do that, we just have to add a couple scenes for our experiment to work correctly. So what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the projects window, then down to tutorial environments, and double click on environment one. You can go to the scene view window. We see that open maze does come with a couple tutorial environments which are going to come in handy in the later tutorials in this series. And then you're just going to go up to File, Build Settings, and Add Open Scene. Then we're gonna double click on 3D Environment 2 to open that, and you'll see that the environment changes in your Scene View window. And you're going to add Open Scene again. Then we can close our Build Settings and navigate back to the Project window click Scenes, then double click on the Launch Experiment scene. And what you should see is a screen like this should appear in your game window. If this is your first time opening Unity, the game window might actually also be up here like this, where you have to switch between the scene and the game view window. Uh, for the remainder of the tutorials, it's important that you set up your game view window just beside the project and the console window. And I just like making this the same size as the scene view window. From the launch experiment scene, what we can do is we can go up to the play button at the top and hit play. You'll then be prompted with a file browser. And if it doesn't take you to the configurations file folder, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to where you have your OpenMaze folder. I have mine on the desktop. I'm just going to double click on that and then double click on configuration files, then on tutorials, and then on step one, download and install. And this is just a simple experiment so that we can test that everything is working properly in our OpenMaze project. So we're going to click on that and hit open. Now we can navigate down to the game view window, click anywhere on the game view window, and press the space bar. We see a welcome screen for our experiment. If we press the space bar again, we'll see instructions for a 
simple object collection task, some movement control instructions, get ready, we'll press the space bar, find the apple, and we see that everything is working correctly now. Find the water. And find money. Okay, great. So the experiment's over. To end an experiment, we can just go back up to the play button, press that again. Okay, so now you're all set up to use OpenMaze in Unity. One last thing that you're going to want to do to make sure that you're set up for the next tutorials is go back up to File and Build Settings and just remove the two tutorial environments that we added to the build. So you can do that just by selecting them both, right-clicking on them, and removing selection. In the next tutorials, we'll get into actually building environments in Unity and creating experiments using the OpenMaze configuration files. I'll see you then.